Hi guys, it's Daniela again and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hello. So for today's haul, I thought I would bring you a Primark haul. So these are all the bits that I've recently bought from Primark. So all the products that I'm going to talk to you today about are still probably in stock because I bought these recently. So I thought I would show you what I bought and why. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed my Primark haul and let's get started. The first thing I bought recently was this. So I bought a shampoo from Primark, so it's the PS Super Blends. This is the coconut and cactus flower strengthening shampoo. This was only a pound and I bought this because I just wanted to see what it was like. I'm kind of fussy with shampoos, but I just wanted to see what this was like. And obviously if it doesn't work out for my hair, I'll give it to someone else and let them try it. It actually smells really, really good. So the reason why I bought this one is just because it was strengthening and I have like pretty dry kind of thin, fine brittle hair even though when it's curly it doesn't really look like that but it is very dry and just like it can snap really easily so i wanted to see if this was any good i don't know for a pound i don't expect miracles but i just wanted to try it for conditioner i bought this one so this is the ps super blend pink grapefruit and guana volumizing conditioner so i thought i'd get this one just because it said volumizing and god knows i need some volume because my hair is so flat and like way down that I don't really have a lot of volume. So I knew that I wanted to get something volumizing. To be honest, I should have bought the shampoo in this one and the strengthening one in the conditioner because obviously with volumizing, like I would have to put it up here to see a difference, but I don't, I don't put conditioner up here. I put conditioner only in my ends. So yeah, I'm kind of looking back at it and I'm like, why did you get this one in conditioner? Oh well, I bought it, so yeah. Oh wow, this smells really good as well. And yeah, this was also one pound. So I'm just gonna try them. If they make my hair greasy or anything like that, I will stop using them. The next product I got was this. This is the blush perfume. So this cost five pounds. And from what I remember, this smells so good. That's why I had to get it. And I really like like the box and everything. I really like Primark perfume. So this is what the actual bottle looks like. Such a cute little bottle. And this is 50 mils. And this costs five pounds. This smells so good, honestly. It smells so good. I can't even explain to you how good this smells. Oh, so this has got a blossom orange heart and a base of bagamon. That's probably why I really like it. I really like smells that have bagamon in it. Bagamon? I don't even know if I'm saying that properly. The next product I bought was this. This is a nail polish stand. This was £3 and it's a nail polish stand. I just want to put my nail polishes in it. So that's really it. This is what it looks like. So quite nice and I can put all my nail polishes in it hopefully it fits all of them okay another miscellaneous product that I don't know why I bought but I bought it this is the PS whitening dissolvable teeth whitening strips so this is four pounds and honestly I don't know why I bought this I have seen a lot of strips like this on the market but they're usually really quite expensive and I don't know if they're gonna work so I thought I would try these see if they work they probably don't they probably won't but I just thought I'll try it and see what they're like. And yeah, I just thought I would get these. It was kind of just an impulse buy and that's why I got them, to be honest. Another kind of miscellaneous product that I bought was this brush here. So this is just like a stippling brush. This was £3. The reason why I bought this is just to see if it's comparable to this brush that I have. This is one of my favourite, favourite brushes. And I just feel like I would love another alternative to this when this one's like really dirty. I can use a cleaner one. So this is the one I bought from Primark. Feels really good as well actually. Feels very similar to the one I have. So yeah, I just thought I'd buy it and it was only £3. And I actually do like Primark brushes. This is another Primark brush that I have. And this one is actually really nice for blusher. And I also like using this for bronzer sometimes. But yeah, I've got two of these and I actually really like these. So yeah, I was really happy when I saw that brush there. Just because I've been wanting another one like my bronzer brush. And I found it in Primark. And I do like Primark brushes so I knew that I wanted to get it so another thing that i kind of just impulsively bought and i didn't really need but i just wanted to try was this ps cuticle oil so it's just a oil that you put on your cuticles that i can't say that word properly so yeah this was only a pound so like i just bought it and just wanted to try it out so yeah this is just an oil that you put on your like cuticle beds just to keep them nourished this is enriched with vitamin A and sweet almond oil. The reason why I literally bought this is because I get severe dry cuticles. So I just wanted to see if it literally worked and if it did anything. And to be honest, I literally just put some on and it feels a lot more like 
hydrated than it did before and yeah it's a pound there's nothing really else to say it's an oil for your nails and i thought i would try it so something that i actually bought that is actually a repurchase is this this is the ps take it off nail polish removing pot i actually really like this to remove my nail polish and it works really well so i bought another one because they do run out pretty quickly but i do do my nails a lot like twice a week i will remove my nail polish and do it again so yeah this is a really good nail polish remover if you're looking for one this is one that i like so another thing that i got was this this is just a ps facial cleanser massage brush that i really like this is a pound i really like these and i do go through them quite often because i do change them quite often i don't use this every day but i use this a lot like in the evening if my face is like really dirty, if I've worn makeup, I will go in with this and my cleanser and stuff. But I do like this. This is like a physical exfoliator. So I do tend to use this only on days where I don't do chemical exfoliators because you will over exfoliate your face and then you'll get rashes like I have previously. So yeah, I am quite careful with this and I just really like this to be honest. I really do think it helps just keep my skin clear and like blackhead free because i don't have a lot of blackheads luckily and i feel like it's because i exfoliate quite a lot and i just keep my skin as clear and clean as possible so yeah i would recommend this especially for those that don't want to spend a lot on a brush like this or you know like the clarisonic or anything like that you don't want to spend a lot i would just go for this one that's why i've never invested in like a proper mechanical one just because i've got this and i don't really feel the need to Obviously, it's not the best for the environment because I am throwing this away. I really wish that Primark would make this not plastic. So the next product I got was this. This was quite impulsive. So this was the PS Naturals Balm to Oil Cleanser. This was £6 and I bought this because I've been looking for a balm to oil kind of cleanser for when I'm wearing like heavy, heavy makeup. Just because at the moment I am using my face halo. But like, I don't want to keep rubbing my face a lot because like wrinkles and stuff. So I thought I would try this. And this doesn't have coconut oil, which I know could clog up pores. It has coconut water. So hopefully that's better. And I just want to see if this works on my skin. And yeah, I will obviously try it. And if it breaks me out, I will stop trying it and give it to someone else. So yeah, I thought I would try it and hopefully it doesn't break me out. So the next two products are these here. So these were £2 and these are nail gems. So I just bought these just to see if I can create something cool with them. And I don't actually have gems like this. So I thought I would buy them and they're like £2. So I bought ones that are like hollow and then I bought these. These have like different shapes and different colours. I actually want to create a look very similar to this. I will show you. So this is by Desi. And I just really like the look and I kind of want to recreate it and just do it myself so that's why i bought the gems so another repurchase is the ps skinny brow pencil i got three lots i got two in brown and one in dark brown i actually prefer brown but i do like dark brown on days where i want my brows to look a little bit darker i really like this brow pencil and it's two pounds so it's really really affordable it's actually a really good brow pencil and it does stay in your brows for a long time the color is actually really good for me both dark brown and brown work with my brows so i really like them and i would highly recommend these i've spoken about them a lot on my channel these are just really good and this is the only thing i use like on my brows unless it's like brow gel if you're looking for an affordable brow pencil even if you don't care if it's affordable or not i would highly recommend trying this it's really good and i just really like this and the colors really do suit me as well brown and dark brown both work for my brows so yes i had to buy that so this is another impulsive buy so this was three pounds and this is just like a little brown purse now looking at all the products a lot of it was impulsive buys but it's primark at least it's not like expensive impulsive buys so i just got this just because I really wanted a small purse just because I carry smaller bags and like my purse basically fills up my whole bag so I thought I'd get this there was one in black but I actually preferred the one in brown for some reason and yeah you just can put your cards and all that and then change in here and yeah it was only three pounds I do actually like Primark purses I've had Primark purses like all my life and they last pretty well as well so can't wait to use this and just have it be a smaller purse instead of my like big chunky purse so this is what it looks like up close so it's just got like a gold kind of bar here and it's just like leather but it's obviously probably not leather 
and it's kind of like snake print so the last two hair products are these so i got these for one pound fifty and i got this set for one pound i've already used the gold a lot you probably have seen it on my channel but i've used these a lot i actually really like these clips and specifically for days where i have my hair like this so yeah i got these because i know i will use them i know that i've been really enjoying hair clips in my hair it just makes you look like you put a little bit more effort in your hair and since i've been having my hair like down the middle I like having like a little clip just holding this back a little bit and I also sometimes like putting two in. So yeah, I've been really into like this whole clip trend and I'm definitely on this trend. So the last products are all jewellery. So I'll start off with this one here. This one you probably would have seen already if I've uploaded my video. This one is just some skull earrings. I actually got these for my Wednesday Adam look and these were three pounds. I actually do think I'll get a lot of use of these, especially around Halloween. And yeah, they're just really cute and they're like three pounds. So I thought I'd get them. And I really like the way they look with my Wednesday Adams look. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video and it's up already, I will link it up wherever it belongs. So yeah, I really like these and they're only three pounds. So yeah, if I do do something for Halloween, I know for a fact I'll wear these. Some more earrings that I bought, I bought these pair here. These were £2. These are literally just gold small hoops. And I just got these just because I have a lot of small hoops in silver. But I actually wanted some in gold. For days where I'm wearing like gold jewellery, I love putting like smaller hoops in my other piercings. Like for example this one today. So I just thought I would get this. And yeah, it was only £2. And I actually really like all the hoops in this. So for me recently, I've been buying a lot of more gold jewellery. Just because I never really liked gold on me. I preferred silver but now I kind of like both of them on me so I didn't have a lot of gold like jewelry like especially gold little hoops so I thought I'd get them and they're only two pounds so yeah I know that if I was gonna buy this anywhere else it could cost me like 10 to 15 quid so from like new look or ASOS so I just thought I'd pick these up and I actually really like Primark jewelry another item that I got in the jewelry section was this pair of hoops here so these have got studs on one side and then hoops on the others it's got like silver gold and rose gold and I've been looking for a pair of hoops like these for a while so I'm so happy I bought these and these are also two pounds and I really, really like hoops. I love, love hoops. I actually love buying jewellery from Primark just because trends come and go. What you like changes. I never liked gold and now I like gold. So for me, it's kind of obvious just to buy my jewellery from Primark just because it is very inexpensive. I can't really see myself using the studs as often, but the hoops I definitely will use a lot of. So another pair of hoops I bought. These were £1.50 and they're literally just gold hoops. They're very similar to the ones that I have on actually, like extremely similar, but these are just slightly smaller. So I just thought I would buy them just because I like the look of them. These are quite expensive when you go to buy them off like other websites. They can charge you like 10 pounds, eight pounds. And for one pound 50, like why wouldn't I buy them? So this is the last item here. So these are also hoops, but these are silver hoops and these were two pounds. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell the detail on them, but they do have like diamonds and like ridges on them. Not real diamonds, of course, but I've been wanting a pair of hoops like these. So I thought I'd get them. And when I saw them, I was like, oh my god, they're like the ones that I kind of wanted. So yeah, they were £2. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's Primark haul. I really like filming these. I also really like watching them just because I like seeing what other people get in Primark. I like seeing what they have in stock, potentially. If you've liked anything in this haul, hopefully they still have it in stock in your local Primark. I don't see why not because I did buy all this stuff recently. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.